Hey y'all, Noons here from Banana Hobby and welcome back to Noons Airborne RC. And today is our last video in our trilogy where we're going to be doing the setup on our control surfaces and our CG on the model and our flannel cleanup. Hopefully we placed everything in there that it CG's fine. Now why do you ask why do I have my EDF version? I'm going to use this as a control. I like where my setup is on these control surfaces. So I'm going to use those same measurements here. And I'm also going to use the CG that I have. And I believe, but don't quote me if I'm wrong, I'm 13 to 17 millimeters from the front of the center of the wheels. But we're going to be using our Zykoi CG machine. You ready? Let's go. First of all, we're going to talk about our surface travel. And we're just going to get down to the meat and potatoes. We're going to use the throws as for the manual, and they seem to work on the EDF, so I'm going to use them for the turbine as well. The aileron, we're going to use 12 millimeters. Elevator, 12 millimeters. The rudder is going to be 25 millimeters. And the flaps, 15 to 20 degrees for takeoff and 35 to 45 degrees for landing. Now, all these measurements right here, this is one direction. So for ailerons, It'll be 12 millimeters up and 12 millimeters down for a total of 24 millimeters of travel. Now moving on to CG, y'all. Now something y'all should know, a big difference between EDFs and turbines is what I call static and non-static CG. Now with an EDF, you have a static CG because your battery always stays at the same spot and there's no fuel being drawn, there's no weight being lost. Now with the turbine, there is a differential of weight when you have a full tank versus an empty tank. I like to CG and the rule of thumb is to CG the plane the way that you land. So if you CG the plane uh, the way that you fly and then it loses some weight and it becomes more nose heavy or tail heavy, it makes it more difficult to land. So the way I'm going to CG this is I'm going to take my fuel can as you can see right here and I'm going to fill up the UAT and the main tank to about 25%. That's usually how I land. That's when I want my CG at the most opportune, you know, period. I don't want it to be nose heavy or tail heavy to give me any surprises. So off camera, I'm gonna fill up the tank, and I'm gonna drop the gear on this MIG, and on the MIG uh, EDF model, I'm gonna drop it on here, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We got all our prep stuff done. As you can see, I have my red MIG right here. This is the EDF version. We got the Zygoi CG machine already. We're going to place this model on the scales. And we're going to get two values off of this to, so we can transfer that onto the turbine MIG. It's the weight and the CG. Now the CG on this is going to be 17 millimeters. I said earlier between 13 and 19, I believe, but it's 17 millimeters. And we're going to get the weight. Now the weight's going to be different on the MIG. The MIG's going to be heavier, but I want to see how heavy it's going to be because that's going to affect the way that it flies and most importantly, it lands. So let's see how much this weighs and let's see where the CG is on this. All right, we got the MIG on the scale as you've seen earlier. Don't mind the warning, low battery. The battery is low, but it's going to work just fine. So first of all, let's check out the weight. So the EDF version with an SMC battery, 6S5000, we have a weight of 7.55 pounds. Next, we'll go to select model. We have our red MIG, 17 millimeters distance for the CG. Distance from front to mains is 360. And as you guys can see right there, a little bit right there, she's about 15 millimeters, 16 millimeters. So she's right there, right? Real close to 17, if not dead on. So now let's do the turbine. All right, we've got the turby on there. First of all, let's see the weight. 10.6 pounds. And now let's select our model and select right there, 17. Let's see where she's at. Eighteen millimeters, guys. We're one millimeter off. Wow. 
Um, I don't know what to say, guys. That's dropping it in and the way that we set it up and she's good to go. Now all I got to do is just button up the wiring and stuff and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, a little bit of bonus footage. So when we CG'd it at 17 millimeters, that was with a full UAT and a quarter tank. Here it is at takeoff. This is completely loaded up, full of fuel, ready to go. And you can see that the CG did shift to 30 millimeters because the added weight in the nose. Now let's go to full takeoff weight. 11.85 pounds, guys. 11.85 pounds. Okay, everybody, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. We went over the control surfaces and the CG. And hopefully that was a good visual reference for y'all between static CG and non-static CG. You noticed that the CG moved 13 millimeters when we filled up the plane. Not going to be a problem, so we use flight modes for our trim setup. Now, if you like this model and you like what you see, the link's down in the description to go ahead and pick one of these up. Once again, thank you for coming by. Noon's out.